Okay, because it looked like it did capture in display mode, so we'll just do display mode for now. Or display capture. And then I will go into it and look into it to see how to like set it up for Windows mode. Cause man, this looks <laughs> You shall not pass, Gandalf. Oh. All right, so this is Dungeon Keeper 2. And as you can see, the graphics are a lot better than um, the first. Um, yeah, it has the GOG patch, which is interesting to me because it's a Steam game. Um, we're going to leave the graphics on high because it's not going to, you know, do much. Okay. Okay. So let's play a little bit of this. And, um, let's see what's going on. We're going to be doing a new campaign. Smiles, Will. Welcome, Keeper. Before you light a happy and carefree realm, the local champion, Lord Antonius, holds the first portal gem you require. Okay. Learn how to construct a dungeon and build up your forces so that you can crush Lord Antonius and wipe the smile from his face. Yeah. Yeah, we don't like Lord Antonius. Okay, and then our sub-objective is build a 5x3 lair and a 3x3 three three hatchery. Um, unfortunately, I don't have anything to write that down. That's a bummer. Okay, let's go Behold in Behold your dungeon heart. Protect it well. For if it is destroyed, you will be banished forever from this land. What? <laughs> I mean, he didn't say that the last time. Oh, look at the little elves. Here walks the goodly Lord Antonius. Yeah, we don't like you, Antonius. You the precious portal gem, but only when you've mustered strength sufficient should you challenge him and claim your prize. Yeah. Lair. Oh, this is gorgeous. Hatchery. Okay, so I need a five by three lair. First, 
There's money to be made. Yep. Click on the flashing seam of gold. Your imps will dig out the area you designate. Now will they do well all of it? Well done. And now your faithful servant imps will carry back your gold to Dungeon Heart. Once okay, so there's no safe, treasure room in this one. The golden scale atop the screen keeps track of your reserve. Okay, that's interesting. A start indeed. But more gold is required. 12,000 units should be mine. Oh, and then that's in fog of war. Observe. Red flowers float above your imps. Uh -huh. These give measure to their health. Their skill acquired and reflect the simple thought within. Oh, that's nice. Excellent work, Keeper. You are ready to recruit more creatures to your cause. Uh, okay. See? A portal near your dungeon heart to where your imps must dig. They'll claim this portal to be yours. You'll see what feasts emerge. Okay. I think my only thing is I wish, like, it would get a little smaller. But, you know, again, this, this is an older game, so... Behold your portal, the gate through which new creatures enter your domain. Okay. Drawn forth to use the runes which you provide. Okay. Look well, a goblin has entered your domain. Yay! On his own, he is a cowardly beast, but in a horde becomes a useful fighting force. They're like a boat. Um, I like Your them. goblins need a lair where they shall sleep. Ah. Tag the flashing area to guide your imps to dig sufficient space. Oh man, that's a game changer. That's actually pretty cool. I like that upgrade from the other one. Because in the other one... Well, I can't really say if that's true or not. But in the other one, I was clicking each individual square. But in this one, it looks like you can just highlight, which is pretty cool. Now they're going to path it out. Now build. Click on the flashing tab to see the choice of runes. Select the symbol of the bed. Then make a lair that's big enough to hold as many creatures as can be attracted through your portal. Three by five will prove sufficient. Remember, such constructions cost you gold. Your lair is not large enough to draw sufficient creatures through the portal. Fifteen tiles or more is what's required. Build more. But I Your can. layer is built. Okay. Now right click to cancel building mode. <laughs> okay, that's a layer and then that's the hatchery. Your goblins are rested, but hungry. Dig out the flashing area and build a hatchery for food. Just as you built a layer for sleep. Okay, cool. That's doable. I like this one. It's a, to me... Like, the first one is nice, you know, but this one, they really did a lot of upgrades. 
and you can see that it ended up, you know, the game ended up getting love. Like they cut out the treasure room, which that that to me was great. Cause okay, so now they're gonna build the thing. You must build a hatch. Uh. Click here. Select the symbol of the chick, then click over empty tiles of land you've claimed to build the hatchery. That is so Good cool. Thank See? You. Your goblins are well rested in their lair, and their bellies full with juicy chicken flesh. Now keep watch, for very soon more goblins will arrive, and then your numbers will be strong enough to challenge Lord Antonius. Yeah, we don't like Lord Antonius. Goblins do I have two? I guess that's right. Oh, that's a goblin too. I sent a breach. The servants of Antonius have broken through your walls, and you can move your gaze to see them now by right clicking on the flashing blade. But worry not this time, for it is only dwarfs, who feeble as they are, pose little threat against your goblin. Uh, I don't know, he just like took out my goblin though, like for real though, just saying. The hapless enemy dwarfs are being crushed. Observe the white health flowers which appear above them when they're near to death. You'll see that only one last petal shows. Okay. Right there, my stuff. Force is large enough to challenge Lord Antonius for his portal gem. Tunnel north, and you will find your smug opponent skulking in his keep. Okay, turn on north. Your dungeon heart is full of gold. No more than 16,000 can it hold. Okay. Away, keeper! You shall not taint Smilesville with your evil ways. He speaks, the feeble Lord Antonius. See how the petals of his white health flower are of a special shape. Right. This marks him down as your prime target. Take him out. Goblins. We did it. Lord Antonius is fallen. The portal gem lies aside his helpless form. In wait for Horny to collect it, so it's yours. And come see me. This one a lot. This one looks really good. We have good light to pour towards you.
devise new spells in the library. Okay. The training room lets creatures improve their combat skills. Okay. Okay. So go to the hot thing. lips. <laughs> lips. Oh, hello. Ma'am. Well done, Keeper. You have successfully ended the life of Lord Antonius, and you have claimed your first portal gem as well. This is a most promising start. Yay. I did that. I am winning. I am winning. I am winning. Um, okay. Let's see. I like this one a lot. Oh, my name disappeared. I guess my name's new and new. Um, so I'm assuming each of these is until you get up to there. Um, all right, so that was a little bit of Dungeon Keeper 2. Now, if I hit continue campaign, okay, it would take me there. It doesn't look like you have to say it looks like it automatically saved. So. But that was a little bit of Dungeon Keeper 2. And if you like what you saw of Dungeon Keeper 2, again, this is available on Steam for PC. It is going for the lovely price of $2.00. So for, well, not, not even for a bag of chips nowadays, but <laughs> it's $2. <laughs> um, and it is available on Steam. Of course, after March 21st, it goes back up to the $4.99 mark. Uh, um, and again, if you have EA Play, the game is free to play. If Or it's included. In, I can't say it's free to play because you technically pay for EA Play. Uh, but it is available to be played through EA Play as well. Again, if you are here in chat, you can use exclamation point GOTC. And that is going to bring up a list of the games that are on the card. And then um, if you are watching this VOD on YouTube, then the information for the game will be in the description box below.